I'm going to take you through today's practical investigating the rate of reaction between hydrochloric acid and marble chips. Uh, when you carry out this investigation, you will need to wear gloves if you're, you're the member of the group handling the acid, and you will also need to wear safety spectacles, goggles, or if you wear reasonably close-fitting spectacles, uh, normally anyway, uh, they should give you the eye protection that you need. Immediately after the demonstration, you'll need to go through a risk assessment form with the tutor, and you'll need to keep this with your practical data. So what I'm going to do first of all is make sure that the setup is ready. So we've got the retort stand with the clamp, make sure the clamp is done up tightly, and that the gas syringe is actually fitted nicely, but is not pinched by the jaws of the boss here. You need to be able to put the bung into the boiling tube and you'll need to hold it in position, otherwise it'll get blown out by the pressure of the gas that accumulates in here. The gas is produced by the reaction between hydrochloric acid and the calcium carbonate, and carbon dioxide is produced, which will build up in the boiling tube. It will then start to travel up the tube here and will force the plunger along like so. And what you'll be doing is measuring the place which the plunger has got to at 30 second intervals. And you'll continue doing that as stated on your lab sheet. So before you start, make sure the plunger is pushed right back. Make sure the jaws aren't pinching the, the actual uh, syringe. And make sure that the things actually fit like so, without having to stretch the tube. The first thing you need to do is to weigh out one gram of calcium carbonate or marble chips. Put your weighing boat onto the scales and make sure you zero the scales. We don't want to weigh the, weigh the, weigh the weighing boat. And then you're going to add your calcium carbonate until you get one gram and that's pretty much exactly one gram it's just hovering just above just below but that's close enough you will find if you touch the bench it actually affects the mass so try not to create excessive draft the marble chips then go into the boiling tube. What you're then going to do is you're going to add the hydrochloric acid and you're going to add one cubic centimetre, which is the same as one milliliter. So that's right up to the top graduation on the syringe. You need to be really quick here to get the bung in as soon as you put the acid in. So in goes the acid, in goes the bung, hold the bung down and start the timer. You can see that there's a lot of frothing going on there and what's actually happening um, is that carbon dioxide is being generated. You can see here that the plunger is being pushed out. We're up to 15 seconds now. This is quite a strong concentration of acid that I've chosen and we're getting up 24 seconds at 30 seconds, I'm going to have to take a reading. 30 seconds there. So there's the reading there, 35 mil. We're just waiting for the next 30 second marker to come. You can see that the reaction is dying down a little bit now because we're only using a very small amount of the, of the um, reactants. 55, 56, 57, it's coming up now. And there we are, that is 48 mil. That's about as far as it's going to go. So we'll stop the clock and reset it. You'll enter that figure into your 
table of data. What you then need to do is to empty the waste into the sieve, give the boiling tube a rinse with cold water, and place it upside down to drain uh, in the wire rack. What you then need to do is to repeat that procedure with the same concentration of hydrochloric acid. So again, you'll be measuring out a gram of marble chips, placing them in the boiling tube, adding a cubic centimetre of the hydrochloric acid, starting the clock, measuring the rate at which the reaction proceeds, and then recording the results in your, uh, in your data table. You'll then carry on and you'll do your second and your third concentrations with two runs of each. So that's the procedure. Good luck.